Hey kids, how's everybody this morning? 7.30 a.m. here, heading out of New Haven, Connecticut. There's New Haven behind me. Cloudy, overcast, rainy day today, or at least it looks like it's going to be. Uh, forecast actually doesn't show any rain happening until about 11 o'clock this morning, but I'm most definitely going to be in rain all afternoon. So I've got my rain gear going. Hey Kelly Binks, what's up man? How are you this morning? So right now I'm motoring uh, here out of uh, New Haven, Connecticut. I'm going to be going to Pine Island, uh, which is just about due north of, uh, of Montauk Point. Um, on my way to Bristol, Rhode Island. It's the halfway point between here and Bristol. So it should be, according to uh, my Navionics, I'm only motoring at 4.7 knots. I'm, uh, I'm kicked back a little bit off of full speed trying to not slip my engine up so bad. And by the way, Douglas, that does seem to be working. Just backing out the throttle just a little bit seems to be greatly reducing the soot. So I think I was in an overfuel situation. Um, good morning, by the way, Doug. And I'm surprised to see you up so early, actually. Wow. Huh. Anyhow, so I'm motoring out now. I'm doing 4.6. That shows me getting into Pine Island at 5 o'clock this evening. So I've got about a nine-hour run today uh, or thereabouts. I'm hoping once I get out here past the breakwater and make the turn, this wind that I've got on my back, uh, we're supposed to have 9, 10, 11 mile an hour winds uh, staying tight against the shore, which I'm going to do today. And so I'm hoping I can get that 4.8, 4.9 knots kicked up to 6, 6.5 and, and make some time so I can, uh, I can get to Pine Island in good shape. And then when I get to Pine Island tonight, I'm going to try to get there early enough and well rested enough. Uh, that I'll be able to go ahead and get that fuel line installed finally. Um, I'm hoping to get there like 3 or 3.30 and uh, have a little time to uh, relax and uh, get that done. Boy, I'll tell you what, right after my live stream last night, it clouded up, started raining. It rained pretty much all night last night. Um, I got the generator, you can probably hear in the background, I got the generator going, trying to chill down the refrigerator again. I didn't run it very much yesterday, so I'm running it now. Got the engine parting along, going just perfect. Everything here on the good ship Lily 2 is just awesome at the moment, man. Yeah, Doug, let's not even talk about that in live stream. All right, I'll deal with, I'll, I'll talk to you about that privately. Um, Who else is on here? Hey, Steve's Viz. What's happening, man? Good morning. So, anyhow, that's kind of the news, all the news. It is news across the nation for me. I'm going to be heading out of New Haven, making a left-hand turn as soon as I get out past the breakwater, heading due east to Pine Island. There's a good sheltered spot there in Pine Island that'll give me some good protection. There's a Fisher Island just a little bit further east, uh, but the way the wind's blowing today, the anchors would be exposed. So I'm going to go to Pine Island. Pine Island actually has a couple free mooring balls there. So I'm going to get there and, uh, and and be on a mooring ball tonight. That'll be kind of cool. And I, hopefully I'll get there early enough that I can grab one of those two free mooring balls before somebody else does. So you do have to kind of play that game when you're out here. Anyhow, I'm now about halfway out of New Haven Channel. I'm out of the, the skinny part back there. Which, by the way, that turned out to be a really nice spot to anchor. Uh, good current coming out of the river kept the boat nice and smooth and steady. Uh, I felt one boat go by sometime during the night. So, uh, Shark Attack 61 year old of Massachusetts coast. Well, it wasn't me, Kelly. I'm only 60. He didn't attack me, so. Yeah, I know. I hear about all the shark attacks up there. That's all right. I could use a few. I, I could. I could use to lose a few pounds. So <laughs> maybe you'll do me a favor and take it right off my gut, right off my belly, where I need the weight off the most. You know. Yeah. Now that I've said that, watch. I'll get shark bit. So anyhow, this is sort of the bay, the way it looks here in New Haven. We've got this big shelter. This is really shallow out through here. Uh, most of that's only a couple feet deep. As we get out into here, you get out in the 20, 15, 20. You can see some of the breakwater out over there. There's, there's a long running breakwater that way. 
a strip there, a strip there, and then there's a big long strip coming off the point here. So you can see I'm heading out right through there where all those buoys are. There's a little bit of housing area here, but you know, just sort of a different kind of thing out here, you know. Every uh, <clears throat> every anchorage I stop in <coughs> is just a little different. I have to admit, I really like that Eaton's Neck anchorage. Uh, for me being a hunter and a sportsman, I don't know if you guys saw my post that I put up on Facebook. If you haven't, check out my Facebook page at, uh, on, just by my name, Carl Brook. I posted a video clip the other morning I woke up whole bunch of big buck deer right by and I mean nice 170 class white-tailed buck walking around on the beach right behind my boat easily within bow range easily within bow range so right there at the Eaton's Neck Coast Guard Center so yeah I bet you my son Carl wishes he could be hunting over there <laughs> oh I've done my share of hunting in my life I don't really don't have too much inclination to kill any more Bambies but I've certainly done my share, got nothing left to prove in that regard, but my son's still caught up in all that, you know. Saw the buck on Facebook, looked nice. Yeah, that was a hell of a deer, wasn't it? Uh, Ten point, high and wide, had nice height to him. Not a lot of mass, considering he was still in velvet. That would have been as, as tall and as wide as that was, it would have been a little spindly, but uh, Still, I think in the 170 class, even that, even with the, the small diameter of the antler, it, when it lacks in diameter, it certainly makes up for in height. So, look like a pitchfork sticking on top of his head, or a couple of them. Anyhow, guys, I'm going to go out here and turn the corner and start heading over towards uh, Pine Island for today here on the north shore of Long Island Sound along the Connecticut coast. Um, so, hopefully, I'll be in Pine Island this evening. I'll get back to you guys then about 7 o'clock or thereabouts for my usual uh, live stream. In the meantime, guys, don't forget, Doug's now doing his live stream Saturdays at 2 o'clock. Um, uh, talking about cars and stuff, so check out Doug's channel at Doug Imbergamo, D-O-U-G-I-M-B-E-R-G-A-M-O. And uh, ask Doug questions about your car and stuff. Hey, Peaceful Don. So anyhow, kids, I'm out here. We'll talk to you later. Be good, be careful. Take good care of one another. And don't forget, in the description down below, there's links to my PayPal and Patreon should you want to donate to the cause, guys. Thank you much, everybody. Jay Allen, Jay John Dolan. See you guys later. Bye.